Hi there, my name's Ken West and I'm director of 365hair.com. We have a business coaching company and we work with salons, uh, salon owners and their teams throughout this country, helping them to build bigger and stronger and more profitable businesses. What I thought I would do now is put together a, a few videos that would help any salon owner out there that is currently in the situation, well in fact that's all of you, in fact, that are currently in this situation that we find ourselves again in lockdown with our salons closed. What I want to do uh, with a few videos that I'm going to produce over the next weeks is just to get you focused on certain parts of your business so that when you come out of this, and we will come through this, you can be in a stronger position than when you went in. If any of the information I share during this uh, that during the next few weeks you find it useful and want to share with anyone else, then please do. If also, if you hear anything that you currently know, don't worry about it. All that will do is refocus you upon making sure that the information that you think you know is currently up to date. So what I'm going to start with today is looking at the breaking of a salon. Now you all, I'm sure, would have completed a break even on your salon at some stage. But many of you will know the break-even of your salon as an amount of money. And of course, when the costs in your business change, or the average number of guests that you serve, or the average amount of money you receive from each of those guest changes, then your break-even number could well change as well. In fact, it will change as well. And what you need to understand is the gross profit that is produced from every client that you serve. Because that gross profit only becomes net profit once you've reached the break even in your salon. Now you're probably already thinking, leave me alone, Ken, I don't want to know this stuff, or why do I need to know this stuff? Because I've got someone that does it for me. But actually, every responsible salon owner needs to understand these things. And actually, I also believe that stylists and anybody that works in a salon needs to understand that a salon has to generate a certain amount of money just to break even and to start making profit. So this is why you need to know this stuff. Also, at the moment, many of you out there during recent times have had to take out loans to get your business through the challenges that you're experiencing. And I want you to understand that those loans will eventually have to start being repaid. If I think about where we are now in January 2021, uh, some of you may have taken out loans last March, and it's not going to be far away when you have to start repaying those. I don't know anyone yet that's heard from their banks that are deferring those payments even further. It could well come, but actually the day of reckoning will come when you have to start repaying these. And it's important to understand what you may have to change in your business to allow you to pay those repayments comfortably without them affecting the profitability of your business. You're going to need to understand exactly how much in extra sales you need to generate to be able to service those loans. So what I want to do is look at the impact or the possible impact of life with COVID and the impact it could have on your salon or actually I'm just going to use an example salon to help you to understand what I'm talking about. In this particular example, what I've taken here is a random salon. It's currently generating just over five and a half thousand pounds, including VAT. But of course we know that the VAT isn't there, so the only amount of money they have to spend is the 4,600 4, pounds that we've got here. This business is currently serving 115 guests. So we can calculate that the average income per guest is 40 pounds. Um, and actually, if we look at the costings of this salon, we've also calculated already that the direct costs of this salon are 2760 Now, just to explain what we mean by direct costs, direct costs are the costs that relate directly to serving every client that comes through your door. So most salons nowadays pay their staff uh, a salary that's related to their turnover. So obviously uh, a, a, a percentage of every bill goes towards the team. You've got professional stock involved with every service and of course you've got laundry involved uh, with serving every client that comes through your door. 
So in this particular sale, you will see here that 60% of every bill goes out to these direct costs, and it is therefore only ever left currently with 16 pounds out of every client that it's serving to pay the other costs in the salon. Now those costs are known as fixed costs, or we refer to them as fixed costs, and they're the rent, the rates, the light, the heat, all those sort of things that stay more or less static, irrespective of the number of guests that you serve within your salon. In this salon, in our example, those fixed costs are 1840. So quite simply by doing the maths, dividing 1840 by 16 pounds, we know that this salon needs to generate 115 guests to break even. It's currently serving 115, so it's reaching break even. So we know that the sales at break even are 4,600 pounds. Happy days, no profit, but no loss. What I'm gonna do here is just quickly factor in PPE. Now, many of you hopefully will have dealt with this already. Last year, you made the decision to build in PPE to your, uh, your prices or not. The decision was entirely up to you. But if you absorb those costs, then you may currently find that your profits are ebbing away because PPE is a cost to your business and there's a cost to serving every guest. And you can see in this example, we factored in five pounds for PPE uh, costs for serving a guest in this cell. So therefore, it's now only left with 11 pounds to go towards the uh, fixed cost of the salon. So in fact, what it now needs to generate is 6,690 to break even, because if it doesn't, it's going to lose 575 pounds a week, which is the PPE for each of those 40 guests. It's going to lose that money uh, if they haven't built that into their prices. So already you can see the numbers here that the sales need to increase to in this salon just to cover PPE. But hopefully you've got through that. What I now want to get you to look at is what may be coming your way if you have to start repaying a loan because many of you will have taken out loans in your business and at some stage you're going to have to start repaying that loan some of you may even have to start repaying them in march of this year and that's not that far off so let's look at what happens to this example seller who they actually are going to have to start repaying 200 pounds per week when they start repaying their loan we then see that they need to generate, if we do the maths that we did before, because their fixed costs have now gone up from uh, 1840 to 2040, and we know that they've only got 11 pounds out of each guest to pay that, we now know that they need to serve 185 clients per week just to break even. If they haven't increased their average income per guest from 40 pounds, then they need to generate seven and a half thousand pounds or seven four eighteen just to break even uh, nearly nine thousand pounds including VAT just to break even so it's really important to start thinking about how your business will have to change to embrace these loans if you're taking them out and when you have to start repaying them at the moment we don't know if banks are going to defer them any further and hopefully they will but if they don't and you need to start thinking about this fairly soon. But the day of reckoning will come. The banks will want their money back at some stage. So it's worth thinking now how you're going to change your business to accommodate this. Now, some of you are probably feeling like this at the moment. My God, what am I going to do? But the real thing is, and what I really want to do, is not scare you. I just want to make you think about this. Because if you don't think about this, then you will be caught out. Because the fact is, the reality is that unless you make changes in your business, then the results of your business won't change. If you weren't profitable before you went into this crisis, you most certainly won't be profitable when you came out. So if I've scared you, that wasn't my intention. My intention was to make you think about what you're doing in your business and focus you on your numbers. And what I'm going to do over the next few weeks is produce regularly a series of videos just to help you think about certain areas of your business and how you can look at them and how you can focus at them and how you can tweak things in your business to improve your results. If you want to find out more about what we do at 365 then please use the contact details on this page 
and get in touch with us. But even if you don't, please stay safe and get yourself prepared for when you reopen your salon doors. Thank you for listening to me today. And I hope to be able to speak to you again soon. Thank you and take care.